my name is Anton and I'm working on GitKeeper and as a bunch of projects at PSC. Uh, in today's digital landscape, data privacy and security have taken the center stage. Uh, as we explore the importance of using uh, zero knowledge identities on client side, we must address the problem at hand. Why is this approach crucial? So let's define the problem first. Uh, for security and privacy, there are three main problems. Uh, centralized storages, exposure to third parties, and data vulnerabilities. So we came up with a solution uh, which must satisfy these main points. Data ownership, so users own their keys, identities without relying on third parties or centralized storages. Uh, enhanced privacy. Uh, which allows to use the data without revealing it and reduce data exposure. So it means that if user needs to share uh, only a part of data, no need to share the whole data. So, and client uh, sets their own knowledge identities empower individuals uh, by placing them in control of their data. Uh, this approach is instrumental in addressing uh, their data privacy and security and security challenges, offering a solution that aligns with the evolving landscape of digital privacy and trust. So with this input data, I'd like to introduce your CryptKeeper. CryptKeeper is a browser extension and briefly our vision highlights are be the premier uh, zero knowledge proof based identity management solution be authorization and authentication provider, and be simple and secure for users without uh, requirements of additional knowledge about cryptography. Uh, so while working on CryptKeeper, we've done lots of things. So first of all, we published uh, our extension code in Chrome and Firefox stores. We have an integration package uh, which allows uh, dubs to interact with our extension. And also we have a good automation for publishing, uh, testing and development. So also we have like a brief roadmap for our next six months. Uh, we are going to create plugin system to make CryptKeeper to make CryptKeeper a more generic tool to allow other projects uh, to integrate with us and support. For instance, uh, we're going to integrate with the Less Notary and ZK Mail in the near future. Uh, also, we are working on improving UI UX to make CryptKeeper uh, easier to use. Yep, And we have plans to create a mobile application. So, Let's switch to the demo. I'll show you how CryptKeeper looks like and how it works. We Here's a simple demo. And here our extension. So first we need to complete the onboarding. I'll just let's create it. Then we have a seed phrase. So with this seed phrase we can restore our access and potentially restore our our identities and keys we created. So the idea here is similar with MetaMask. Okay, then we need to approve the extension uh, to work with the, uh, with the application. And then we need to create identity. Right now we, uh, we are going to create a semaphore identity, but uh, as I mentioned before, we have plans to support other types of identity, maybe like supporting verifiable credentials or like a uh, key pair based identity. Okay, so let's connect. <laughs> so, and here I can, uh, we, we have an integration with Bandata service. So let's join the group. Okay, and let's generate the proof that we are member of this group. So here the result provided to the dubs. Okay. 
and let's go back. So while working on Cryptkeeper, of course, we uh, have faced several challenges. Some of them are still actual, for instance, supporting Manifest version 3 for Firefox or running some uh, ZK libraries inside the service worker. Yeah. Right now we are working on resolving them to uh, get a stable solution. So, okay. uh, of course, uh, Cryptkeeper has uh, have a good field of uh, use cases like uh, Amazon reviews, uh, proving some, uh, accessing some data, for instance, like medical record, voting, social media, and okay. So, of course, we have links, we have Discord and uh, GitHub. And if you have any ideas or want to support or contribute to the project, uh, Please feel free to reach us out where you are always welcome. And this is our team who are working on Cryptkeeper. So if you have any questions, I'll be around here. Thank you.